the eyeball receives arterial blood primarily via the ophthalmic artery. This is a branch of the internal carotid artery arising immediately distal to the cavernous sinus. The ophthalmic artery gives rise to many branches which supply different components of the eye. From this view, you can see the ophthalmic artery arising from the internal carotid. Let's take a look at the main branches which supply the eyeball. You can see here the short posterior ciliary arteries highlighted in pink colour that pass around the optic nerve and pierce the sclera posteriorly to enter the choroid layer. I've just made the sclera transparent for a better visualisation. The long posterior ciliary arteries run a longer course medially and laterally around the sides of the optic nerve and pass to the anterior aspect of the eyeball, piercing the choroid layer. Here, you also have the anterior ciliary arteries and within the choroid layer, they anastomose with the long posterior ciliary arteries. The central artery of the retina is the most important branch, which supplies the internal surface of the retina. You can see this artery branching off the ophthalmic artery to pierce the sheath surrounding the optic nerve. It then pierces the optic nerve itself to enter the retina at the optic disc. The retinal branches are visible on fundoscopy and you can see from this view an approximation of what these retinal branches would look like. Venous drainage of the eyeball is carried out by the superior and inferior ophthalmic veins. There are four large veins, the vorticose veins, seen here in light blue, which drain the posterior quadrants of the eyeball. You can see these two superiorly located vorticose veins draining the posterior superior quadrants to the superior ophthalmic vein. Likewise, inferiorly, these two vorticose veins draining the posterior inferior quadrants to the inferior ophthalmic veins. The ophthalmic veins then drain into the cavernous sinus, which you can see here situated within the sphenoid bone, just lateral to the cella tersica. In addition to these veins, there is also a central retinal vein, which you can see here. This accompanies the central retinal artery. So that's a brief look at the vascular supply of the eyeball. If you have found this video useful, Click like below and subscribe for more videos on anatomy. Thank you for watching.